Hello everyone. Let's uh, revise on amino acid digestion and absorption. So, uh, the probable university questions will be like, with the help of a neat diagram, explain the absorption of amino acid from GIT. Or other question, it will be digestion and absorption of proteins. Both uh, may be for five marks. And uh, this uh, absorption of amino acid alone can also be asked for three marks as well. So, if it is uh, with the help of a neat diagram, explain the absorption of amino acid alone is as asked. You can explain about the Mister cycle, that is Brahma glutamate cycle. Uh, only that is to be explained. And that is on coming under the absorption of amino acid. Uh, that can be asked for five marks as well as uh, three marks as well. That is only the absorption and uh, the other marks uh, five marks question is digestion and absorption of proteins so uh, so first we have to explain about the digestion of proteins and absorption will be the mister cycle so digestion uh, first you need to explain about the proteolytic enzymes proteolytic enzymes they are in the inactive form inactive zymogen forms which uh, which is not active uh, therefore preventing the intestinal lumen from its own attack autogyd digestion is uh, stopped by the uh, inactive zymogen since they are in the inactive state then you need to explain about the proteolytic uh, enzymes like endopeptidase which is uh, acting upon the peptide bonds which is present inside the uh, protein molecules and uh, these protein molecules are broken into smaller units it is acting upon the peptide bonds which is inside the protein molecules and it is broken into smaller units and you need to give the examples the group which includes uh, pep pepsin trypsin chymotrypsin elastase ex, uh, etc then uh, next one is next uh, proteolytic enzyme which is helping uh, which is acting upon the peptide bond which is located on the end of the polypeptide protein chain that is exopeptidases and this exopeptidase is divided into two that is carboxy and aminopeptidases and uh, this carboxy will act only upon the peptide bond at the carboxyl terminal and aminopeptidase is acting upon the peptide bond on the amino terminal end of the chains. So, both of these uh, proteolytic enzymes are helping to break down the peptide bonds of the protein molecules and this uh, protein molecules is divided into smaller units and uh, this digestion of proteins is affected by the enzymes which is present in the stomach. So, that, that was the, uh, the peptide peptidases the exo and the endopeptidases are which is uh, acting upon the peptide bonds next these smaller units of uh, proteins or this uh, chain has to be acted upon by the enzymes which is present in the stomach pancreas and the intestinal cells for the digestion so first we will see the stomach the gastric digestion uh, gastric uh, digestion there is hydrochloric acid which is in the stomach and it is maintaining the optimum pH for the enzymes to act upon enzymes like pepsin and uh, is also activated with the help of this hydrochloric acid by giving the optimum pH into form active pepsin and this acid also denatures the proteins so acid helps in activation of enzymes as well as denaturation of proteins. So first enzyme will be renin also called as chymo, chymosin which is uh, active in infants in order to for the digestion of uh, milk casein milk protein is converted to para casein by the action of renin and this denatured uh, protein that is the para casein is easily digested by the pepsin. Next one is pepsin enzyme that is uh, secreted by the chief cells of stomach and its inactive form is pepsinogen the conversion of pepsinogen to pepsin is brought about by the removal of 44 amino acids from the end terminal and this optimum TAPH for this activity should be, should be around 2 and pepsin is an endopeptidase enzyme 
pepsin catalyzes the hydrolysis bond formed by the carboxy group of phenylalanine tyrosine tryptophan and met methionine by the action of pepsin proteins are broken down into proteoses and peptones so that is the uh, stomach that is the digestion that is occurring in the stomach or gastric digestion next one will be in the pancreas pancreatic uh, digestion uh, the optimum ph activity of the pancreatic enzyme is around 8 and it is uh, provided by the alkaline bile and the pancreatic juice in pancreatic digestion alkaline bile and pancreas is there which is providing the optimum ph for its digestion for its activity the secretion of pancreatic juice is stimulated by the peptide hormone cholecystokinin and pancreozymin this uh, pancreatic juice contains the Im important endonucleases like uh, trypsin chymotrypsin elastin and carboxypepsin trypsin is activated by the removal of hexapeptide from the n terminal end and trypsin catalyzes the hydrolysis of the bond formed by the carboxy group of arginine and lysine you need to also you need to explain about the chymotrypsin and carboxy peptidases how it's acting upon the uh, protein digestion trypsin acts upon chymo trypsinogen in such a manner that the peptides which is formed are in three segments and carboxy peptidases like trypsin and chymotrypsin degrades the protein into smaller peptides next will be the intestinal cells by the digestion intestinal digestion of protein complete digestion of small peptides to the level of amino acid is brought about by the enzyme which is present in the intestinal juices and examples you need to know the intestinal enzymes that is leucine amino peptidases pronin then dipeptidases tripeptidases etc all uh, every all these enzymes name you need to know and uh, which amino acid it, it is acting upon next is the absorption of amino acid that uh, the absorption of amino acid occurs mainly in small intestine and it is energy requiring process this transport system is uh, carrier mediated or atp sodium dependent symport system and there are five different carriers of amino acids neutral amino acids basic amino acids amino acids and glycine acidic amino acid beta amino acids these are the different carriers of amino acids and uh, during absorption you need to explain the mister cycle or gamma glutamyl cycle how it's acting upon and you can also draw this diagram mister cycle thank you